Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. IFL TV, Matt Clues, Jim Arbauer, Spencer Fear, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Anthony Joshua v Molina. Firstly, we've seen some interesting tweets from yourself. I'm going to go back to the internet police a year and a half ago. People have been tweeting me some of, your, some of your statements from then regarding Molina when he was uh, a, a just about to, mentioned. Just, yes, as just about to fight Deontay Wilder. What, do you think I changed what I said? No, I'm just asking well, you. Well, I'm, I'm just letting people know straight. I'm not, I'm not hiding from what I said. I said it. I'm not, I'm not lying. I, just, I have to give an opinion, right? So what did you say? What did I say? I said, if Eddie Hearn made that fight for Molina versus Joshua, he would get slaughtered, right? That's what I said. Okay, now what has changed in that 18 month period to make you uh -huh. now change your mind on that statement? Him going nine rounds with Deontay Wilder, him wobbling Deontay Wilder, him fighting Thomas Adamek, regardless that it's an old um, Thomas Adamek, it's a very good Thomas Adamek to the fact that Thomas Adamek is still busy and he's a name mm -hmm. and he knocked him spark out. And then also in retrospect, and this is not to my defense, this is the fact that Anthony Joshua, as the entity that he is, is um, an event. When any Joshua fights, it's an event. It's like you're going to a party. And you know, because you've been at every, I, you know I mean, I always see, um, I film always at every fight. And every fight you see uh, a concophony of, of different people. Mm -hmm. You see young people at his fights. You see old people at his fights. You see the most gorgeous women at his fights. And they all dress up to say, we're going to the fights. This is the, 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 the appeal and the, the, the magnetic draw that the man has. Yes, it's going to be hard after everyone's sitting down thinking that we're going to see um, Vladimir Klitschko versus Andy Joshua to be happy about anybody else being called, right? But then you also have to look at this thing. This is a business. And to, to the fact that we're selling this fight now, you're selling, okay then, well, we can't, we can't get nobody else in. Who else are we going to get? Well, there were two names that been muted. It was David Price, right? And it was Eric Molina. Now, David Price has lost three fights to two men, even though they were on performance enhancing drugs, and has now, under the tutelage of um, Dave Caldwell, Dave Caldwell's got into his mind, got into his mental psyche. Right, and which we're seeing improve, but he hasn't fought anyone. But to me, for the British fans, and listen, I'm, I'm British, so I'm, my mindset is this I was not into Brexit, and I'm definitely not going to be into boxing. If there's any money to be made in the fight game, I want to see British fighters earn as much as they can. Right, this is the bottom line British fighters, you know, what I mean, the red, right, and the blue. We have to, we have to be patriot, have to show our patriotism to the fact that I want to see this. You know, the reason why, because if Andy Joshua fought David Price. You know what's going to happen? It's going to be the people selling popcorn are going to earn money. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be the people selling the, the, the fight programs are going to earn money. Guys like you, who, who, who are the forefront leaders of going out and, and making boxing videos for people to go and watch and become this uh, media expression, you're going to make money because you guys are making a bag of money each month now, right? Because of all no, the no, videos and the content. Shut up, man. That's listen, 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 listen. You just mask it well because you don't like to spend your money on clothes. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, this is what happens. So I would have rather seen that fight. But now, I'm going back to Eric Molina, and we're saying, oh, but, oh, it's Eric Molina, they're taking the mickey, and blah, blah, blah. You're gonna have to take that up with the, the powers that be, well, Eddie Hearn and the guys at Sky TV. I am a pundit who's an honest pundit, and I don't run away from things. Brother, it's me you're talking to. I don't care, I speak my mind, you know? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this is what I, what I realize is this, is like, you can't be wrong and strong. Do you understand? But I'm never wrong. Do you know what I mean? I'm always right, even when I'm wrong. It may be wrong for you, but it's right for me. So I'm saying, this fight here, Anthony Joshua is an event. We are looking for Anthony Joshua to steamroll this person. TV in America are saying, we can't sell two British guys. Mm. Right? This is the liberty of it, right? Mm. So, so Showtime are saying who Anthony's also contracted to, we can't sell that fight. But what we can do, 
we can bring in Eric Molina. Why can we bring in Eric Molina? Because he did wobble Deontay Wilder and his game and he can be shown as a barometer. But then we're talking about because everyone now can go on to BoxRec and everyone's got YouTube, we can say, oh, but did he get knocked out by Chris Ariola? But before getting knocked out by Chris Ariola, did he not wobble Chris Ariola? Mm -hmm. Who is a very tough chin kind of person who needs to be, wasn't he, didn't he wobble him? So I'm saying he's a game opponent that likes to throw punches. So we want to see, right, for the progression of Anthony Joshua, because he's not the finished article. This is a step in the right direction for me. Do you understand? Because if, if it was just after the Dominic Brazil fight, after the Dominic Brazil fight and Eddie Hearn said, well, the next fight is going to be against Eric Molina, nobody would complain. But because everybody got gassed up, oh, man, yeah, him and Klitschko, him and Klitschko. And that's why this is kind of backfired. But it hasn't kind of backfired because now the negotiation, hopefully, fingers crossed, that the Klitschko fight happens in July. So this will be nice warming up for the man, for him to come and be like the fattened, the fattened chicken, but he's going to be successful in being the fattened chicken. I'm, I'm, I'm team Britain, number one. So if we got money going out, let the money stay in Britain. Sod them Yanks.